Yo, what is up, guys? Mr. The Reverts here. Welcome back to the channel. Today is episode two of our five tips and info you need to know for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. If you guys missed out on episode one, a link can be found down below in the description. So starting off with our very first piece of information is a potential little indicator that a Black Ops Cold War may not have actually been called Black Ops Cold War, but instead Black Ops 5. Because if you go onto this particular message of the day screen, at the top right hand corner if you look very closely you can see a watermark logo that has the title black ops and then the roman numeral for five so full credit goes out to ben plays games tv over on the r slash cod zombies reddit but yeah if you guys remember a few years back the rumored title for cod 2020 was going to be call of duty black ops 5 but at some point of the development cycle that title was changed so it does kind of make me wonder why they decided to go with Black Ops Cold War instead of Black Ops 5. Maybe to add something a little bit different to the Black Ops series, but I guess we may never know. Coming in at number two here is a much more faster and efficient way for you to put on the body armor score streak. So instead of having to activate it the standard way by just pressing the D-pad, which takes a long time because your character's got to take out the plates, put it inside of his vest and whatnot. Instead, you can actually swap your weapons while you're in the process of doing that and you can get rid of that animation and be ready to go with your gun up for a much more faster reaction. So highly recommend you guys doing this every single time you are putting on the body armor score streak. For our third piece of information, we're going to be heading over onto the Call of Duty Companion app because for one, if you haven't logged onto this app in a very long time, then I would recommend going on there because you may find yourself unlocking a bunch of rewards like double XP and double weapon XP, but also every single Monday at 12 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time, you can earn free weekly rewards like double XP, for example. Hopefully in the future, they can possibly give out a weapon blueprints or maybe a calling card, an emblem, just something with a bit more of a better incentive to make people log on. Um, but right now, again, you can get free XP from just opening the app at 12 a.m. Pacific Standard Time every single Monday. Next up here, we're going to be taking a trip to Nuketown 84. And this may be a little bit of a throwback for some of you old school Call of Duty fans. But some of the new generational players do not know this. But on Nuketown, there is a hole off to the side of the fences that can be utilized by the RCXD as like a hidden path towards the enemy spawn, potentially catching a player off guard, giving them a nice warm welcome when they respawn after dying. So yeah, if you guys use the RCXD, highly recommend you guys using this hidden path because you can avoid a gunfire. That will definitely put the brakes on the RCXD from getting any kills while you are using it. And then finally, we have a couple of Easter eggs that can be found on a Nuketown and a Miami that depict a uh, a very phallic like object which i'm sure you guys can probably make out what i'm talking about here but on the map miami there is a location called willie's grotto and upon investigating the mini map here if you look closely it does look very very similar to the male genitalia also going back to nuketown we can also see a arrow spray painted on the side of this little um, I guess I don't even know what to call this thing anymore, but <laughs> whatever it just resembles, you know, the male Yeah, genitalia. I haven't been able to find any more on any of the other multiplayer maps that could possibly depict something like this But yeah, maybe there are more Easter eggs. Who knows if you guys do find any more penises Please tell me down below in the comments Also, if you learn something new drop a like because I just am hopeful this series is actually productive and teaches you guys something you didn't know or gives you a tip or two that can possibly help you become a better player at black ops cold war so thanks for watching love you guys so so much have a great rest of the day till next time i'll see you guys later